Having kids makes you realize how dumb your lies used to sound to your parents. My mom put me down for a nap and I didn't want to take it, so I figured I'd mess up my hair to convince her I'd been asleep since that's what you look like when you wake up and ask her if I could get up. Unsurprisingly, the state of my hair didn't make her forget how to experience time. I once tried to hold a thermometer up to a light bulb to make it seem like I had a fever so I could skip school. When my mother looked at it she gave me the choice of going to school or the hospital to let them give me shots and exams I chose school. Parents be home at 9.00 p.m. Me stays out till 9.15 p.m. but sets watch back 15 minutes. I remember one time I sneaked out to watch TV in the middle of the night. When I heard a noise coming from the bedrooms, I couldn't find the remote control so I ran to the TV to turn it off and did it at the exact time my mom arrived at the living room. I instantly pretended I was sleeping upstanding, next to the TV. She was like what are you doing? and I acted out as if her voice woke me up and like I was confused about the situation as well. No mom I didn't spill a two liter of soda on the carpet it was the dog. And being a teacher makes you realize that the things students think they are sneakily getting away with are actually very obvious. When I was three or four years old, my mom made jello and put it in the fridge to set. I got into it and ate a bunch shortly afterward, and we were the only two people home. She asked me if I had gotten into it and I lied and told her I hadn't, but she told me she knew it was me that had done it. I recall being genuinely perplexed at how she knew I was lying. As a parent I realized that my parents let me get away with a lot of shit because they were just too tired to argue with me. Literal lie I told my mom. I didn't sneak out after curfew and sneak back in through the window, it was hot so I opened my window and then I dropped my book out the window and had to get it. Oh why didn't you use the door? I didn't want you to think I was sneaking out. Her gigantic sigh. Kids learn to lie, as adults we can tell they are learning to lie and so aren't very good at it. Every time my four-year-old has a potty training accident, she blames the cat for her wet underwear. Did you have an accident? Standing in puddle of piss knew it was just Luna. I remember I once blamed my sister for something I did, while my sister was staying our grandmother's for some days face with tears of joy face with tears of joy. Mom, I'm definitely not high. As I sit there with eyes barely open, red as hell itself, absolutely reeking of weed. I remember all the lies I told to get out of taking a bath shower as a kid. I don't know why because once I was in the tub I was just there forever. My dad would ask if I took a bath and I'd say yes, then he would say the water didn't even turn on. The next few times I tried lying about it, I would turn on the water but not get in. Then he'd come up and feel if the towels were wet. It upped my lying game to wetting the towels but then he would try to smell me so I upped the lying to wash sticky bits. Surprisingly, it was enough for my dad. The man's a genius. I always lie about buying materials for school projects during high school and use the money to buy computer lab access cards from other students to play RuneScape and Flash games. Good times. It's much scarier when they lie completely believably and have everyone convinced. Today's example. Daughter sneaks out of her room late in the night, is surprised to see me in my office, gives me a hug I missed you. Bullshit has been exposed through a white lie. Why is she out of her room? Some lies are just so blatantly dumb we know there's something that needs investigated. I check her phone, she snuck out and played Roblox and watched YouTube on more than one occasion until 2-3 a.m. Guess who just lost some phone privileges? After burning a huge spot in the oak kitchen table at age 7. No, it's always been like that. My adult son complains to me about his kids doing exactly the same things he did. I just laugh. Reading the comments here is fun. Though I remember some lies that my parents believed because I didn't go too far. I made shit believable. Broke something? Restore it just enough so one of my siblings breaks it again. Though I rarely had to lie. When I did real shit, it was so obvious that I knew I couldn't lie it away. 
I once shaved my arms and told my mom the cat scratched all my hair off lol. So true. I know my son gets a few past me here and there but yeah I have this exact thought all the time. Got a classic 30 year old tale that still does the rounds on pub nights. My bestie was an only child. He broke something expensive, and when his mom asked what happened, he said it wasn't him. His mom just said if that's your story I'll take your word for it but if you wish to change your story one day, you can. We laughed in school for weeks aged like 9 or 10ish about how gullible his parents are. Nor, it makes me realize how unimaginative my kids are in making up excuses. I think this everyday lol I've also apologized to my own mother multiple times since my mini me was born rolling on the floor laughing. Growing up my parents had two of our kitchen chairs in their room for when we had extra people over, well me and my cousins broke one of them and decided to glue it back together because nobody sat in it anyway. A few months later my older brother who was a pretty big dude sat in said chair and broke it. My dad took one look and realized it was glued lol. Man just check out our kids sir fucking stupid. Funniest place on the internet. Counterpoint, having kids, you realize that most of the lies you were told were for your own good. Seriously, when my daughter lied s it's so dang obvious it's almost funny. I'm not going to let her know what her tells are though, I need them so I can keep track of her lies. Somehow that has made it more endearing. The belief that it work is so pure. My daughter pretends to be asleep sometimes but only closes her eyes and I can see her huge smile. She just wants me to carry her to bed and most of the time I will when my back allows. Somebody opened the door to the coffee house and a raccoon came running in and went straight for your muffin. Six years old walks into the room smelling like poop. Did you poop in your pants? No points at four years old he did. So your brother pooped in your pants? Yes. While you were wearing them? Yes. On a side note, does anyone know how to potty train an autistic child who will scream the whole time she's sitting on the toilet that she doesn't have to poop, then poops the moment she has her pants back on? The dog ate my homework no you chewed it up yourself, decided the bite marks didn't look canine enough, and then stabbed a pair of holes in each bite mark with a pencil to mimic fang marks as if mom and dad didn't know what dog teeth looked like. Having kids also makes you realize how gullible and easily influenced they are. My daughter had a possible spider bite last summer and my ex-husband went to tell her there might be more in her room. We had just sprayed so probably got it outside. Wouldn't go to bed. I was able to convince her a mosquito missed twice, describing the poor mosquito's efforts in hilarious detail. She went to bed giggling lol. Being both a high school teacher and a parent step parent to a total of four kids I've heard it all and realized it was the same bullshit I told my parents and teachers. I broke scissors at my parents' house by using them not properly. I lied that I didn't touch them and I don't know what happened. I'm 24 and don't live with them since I was 19. Seriously don't know why I lied lol. I told my mom I accidentally downloaded a virus that had naked ladies on it and when I got scared, my pants fell down. When she called my bluff, I screamed that I already deleted the virus. Yeah, I definitely had a cold during all my teenager's years. Thus the need of so many tissues in my room. Wrote my name in permanent texter on the back door. Blamed it on my two-year-old sister. FYI this feature persists through much of your kids' lives too. Most of the funny stories in this thread are about obvious lies from very young kids. But it's also fun to realize how often the times where you totally got away with something bad as a teenager or even later, your guardians 100 knew you were lying but determined that pretending not to know was the best course of action. That's not from a place of neglect, it can just be to spare your kids embarrassment or just because it's some harmless normal boundary pushing. I once convinced my parents I found gold and buried it somewhere and they brought shovels and came with me to the location. Don't underestimate me peasant. Reminds me of the time I didn't want to get out of the bathtub to poop. I said I have no idea how it got in there. Didn't know where it came from. 
Four-year-old me was a real dumbass.